You can't see it, but it's there. Fishing gear, nets and ropes, lost or left drifting, lying on ocean floors and in coral reefs. Huge amounts of fishing gear disappear into our seas every year. Estimates are up to an incredible 640,000 tons. These fishing nets, made of plastic, won't biodegrade for centuries. They cause irreparable damage to ocean life. Fish get trapped and starve. Marine animals, such as turtles, become entangled and drown. Leading the industry of returnable plastic packaging, we at Shula Ali Bear are deeply concerned about this worldwide threat. No single piece of plastic should end up in ecosystems. So how can we be part of the solution? The plastic crates and boxes we produce are made for long-term reuse. They're too valuable to throw away. They do not contribute to the plastic soup, which consists mainly of single-use plastics. So what if we could find a way to reuse nets and other gear as a raw material for our new containers? We could save fossil resources and at the same time boost the processing of lost and abandoned fishing gear. Together with Waste Free Oceans and their partners, we embarked on a two and a half year journey of research and succeeded in producing containers and crates made largely from recovered fishing gear that still meet our strictest quality standards. That's good news, but this is only step one. We are scaling up now to further increase the portion of discarded fishing gear in our products. Our goal is to use more recycled instead of virgin plastic. It's part of our aspiration to become a driver of the circular economy. Be part of the solution too. Help Waste Free Oceans and Shulali Bear to combat ocean pollution. Turn in your old nets. Call for legislation that makes it easy to bring old nets ashore. Choose crates that are made of recycled material. Only together we can prevent waste from entering the seas and ensure a sustainable habitat for marine life.